uh, biotech or, or something like that, I can help you. I don't know anything about that. But I can give you pointers on how to do a business plan, but I won't be, able, I won't be an expert in that space. Right? So you find an expert in your space, and that space is very nuanced usually, and get someone to help you. There is, a, there is room in when you form a startup for advisors, and bring them on as advisors. And then you have to start building it, right? So all of this is great. You put the plan together and you get people to ratify it and say, hey, it's a great idea and all of that, but it means nothing. You have to start building it, right? So how do you start building the product? And then, in essence, there are a few more things which we will cover today. Uh, when the startup gets started and it has to do business, the government requires that you do something called incorporation, which is make a company out of it. There are various ways of doing business, various mechanisms of doing business. There are partnerships, there are corporations, there are limited liability mechanisms. But I will walk you through today what all of the startups do, most of the startups here do. Pretty much 90 plus percent of the startups do, and that's the way to look at it. I'll show you a quick video on, on that today. Uh, build the product, they talked about it, and then get investment, right? Go to VCs and get invested, because guess what? You won't be able to sustain building a big startup together without money. You need money. And then you've got to start selling it. Right? We talked about it today. Next, please. So this is the more complex version that I promised uh, that's there. Um, this is for your homework to read. OK. Now, when you go to a VC, how does the VC act or think? What are they looking for, right? What are the key things in their mind? This flowchart shows you that, right? And in essence, if you look at it, there's a striking similarity to something. I will come to you. There's a striking similarity to something, right? What is the striking similarity in this slide to something we've learned last week? Excuse me. Is the team possible? Exactly. Give me five. So, so here's the here's the fun part about this, right? We sit down as entrepreneurs and build this business plan. Guess what? The VCs, what they look to evaluate is exactly that, right? So that means if you have your business plan in the right direction, if you have the right components, you will be a hero with the VCs, right? So this is uh, one of the favorite, one of my favorite VCs. Uh, Tim Draper, he's a founder, uh, he's a managing partner in uh, Draper Fisher Jewards. It's it's uh, it's a big VC firm here, uh, and I did work with Tim when I was in an incubator many years back. Uh, he funds startup along with this this incubator that I'm a part of. So here is a few interesting things in the slide that I want to point out. How many of all of the startups he's he's invested in? are su super successful. Teeny bit. You see that? Just a teeny weeny bit, the blue part of it. But is Tim a very successful venture capitalist? Yeah. Yes, right? Fundamentally what happens in this mix is these guys bet on a lot of startups and then they hope and, and pray that you guys will, will, will really hit it out of the ballpark. Right? And I'm, I'm exaggerating. They don't open pay, they play, they also help you. They, are, they sit on your board. But, but there are various factors that they look at, right? Is the team right? Do you have a diversity in your team that will help solve the issues that you will encounter? Is there a market for it? Remember we talked about it right at the onset? Is there a market for it? Right? Are you going to be able to make profit? Right? How, how fast can you... How, how quickly can you grab market share, right? Do you have partners? Will there be folks who, who will come and endorse you saying that, yes, you know, these are our partners and we endorse that these guys will do well. So again, take a look at this, right? Very few startups succeed. Um, the, the success criteria, the success in terms of the percentage is shown there. Study it when you get a chance. I'm sorry, young girl, you had to say something. I think 
Exactly. And, and, it, and it covers those aspects, right? So VC is looking for, for those aspects in here. Hey, guys. OK, next, please. OK, now here's a fun uh, exercise. I picked a few terms that is very pertinent to a startup lingo, as we call it. These are terms that are used quite a bit in the startup ecosystem. And if you start understanding these terms and you go and talk to a VC or you talk to an investor, an angel investor, you look really cool, right? I guarantee you that. So who wants to look cool? Come on, more people want to look cool. Oh, Everybody wants to look cool. Okay, so we'll see who's cool. I, I think all of you are cool. So how many people understand incorporation? How many people understand what incorporation means? Okay, what does incorporation mean to you? It's like a company and it like... Uh, it's like a company that oh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. big and... Yeah, you're on the right track. Who knows what incorporation means? It's basically a company that's incorporated that the government is basically allowing you officially to be a company. That's right. That's when you come out of your bedroom or your garage or your building a product and become a company. That act of filing for a license so that you can work as a company is called incorporation. Right? This is where, and I ask you guys every time to think of a startup name, this is where you, 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 you basically file that as a name and you get a website that says mycoolcompany.com and then you're called My Cool Company Incorporated, INC. How many people have seen INC in company names? That's what it means. Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. Exactly. Monsters Inc. Great point. So incorporation means INC means you're now legit to do business. Right? I'm using uh, rap terms today. Legit. Too legit. So you're legal to do business. Right? Okay. What are shares? Wow, a lot of people know shares. Okay, what are shares? Yeah, it's a proportion. It's a portion of the company that you give give out. Good point. I've already come to you. <laughs> it's part of the company that you can buy. Very good point. It's basically, yeah, it's basically part of the company that you give to them for something. Okay, good point. I haven't come to you. Um, people invest in companies that they're good, but then they don't think that it's not the same. Yep, so you invest in shares, the point you're making, right? Good point. When the company goes to public, there's a certain amount of shares that are listed in the stock market, and if you buy that, you own that much of the company. When, when the company goes public, shares are fundamental to, to, to ownership, because from being owned only by key people, which were employees and, and, and founders and investors, now the public can own. So there is a public, there is, there is this event where the public, where I can go buy shares, like I can go buy Google shares, right? So those are shares. You want to have anything about? Um, so like if you buy it, in like, let's say you buy a That's exactly right. Oh. So the, the valuation of the company is determined by the share and the share price. Very good point. Give me five. Uh, buy low and uh, sell high. <laughs> this guy's an investor. <laughs> this guy here is an investor. <laughs> Great job. Did you understand? Um, All right. So shares are basically your ownership in the company. Each share in the company gets you to be an owner in the company. So if there are a million shares, and I own one share, am I owner in the company? No. Yes. I just said that. You own 0.3. Okay. 
I, uh, company has a million shares, and I go, uh, I go to E-Trade, and I buy 100 shares of Google. Am I owner of Google? Yes. No. Yes. 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 yes, absolutely. That's how you become an owner. Because right now, you own a, a fundamental building block of the company, which is the shares. What happens is, when a company is formed, when there is incorporation, then you issue shares, right? So as founders, you probably say issue a million shares in a company. What's your startup's name? Do you have a startup name? Who has a startup name? What's your startup's name? Bubble Tech. Bubble Tech? Bubble. Bubble? Yeah. Okay, so Bubble Tech, when it incorporates, issues one million shares. And this pretty lady here takes 20% of the company, right? So that means she owns 200,000 shares in the company. She decides to give a partner another 20% of the shares. So she owns another 200,000. Then you, then you bring in a few employees and give each one of them 5,000 shares each. Right? Now an investor comes in, an investor takes, say, 100,000 shares. Are all of them owners in the company, including those employees? Yes. yes. That is how a company's ownership is determined. It's by the shares in the company. So we'll talk, we'll talk about it a little bit more uh, when, we, when we look at some other topics coming up. Okay, exit. What's an exit? What's an exit for a startup, not that door? Right? What's an exit for a startup? How many people know what an exit is? Not everybody's exit. but it's either when you sell or sell your company or you go public or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. There are two fundamental exit events and we'll talk about it. Do you have anything to add on exit? Okay, next slide please. Yeah. Oh, we forgot the paper money. We didn't go with paper money. Oh, I forgot paper money. Great point. Okay, paper money. How many people know what paper money is? This is a very startup centric term. Cash. 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 <laughs> Did you have something to add? Startup greed. Startup greed, wow. There you go, I've already come to you. Um, it's not what they're expecting, but like what they actually have. Okay. Paper money. Dollar bills. Dollar bills, because made out of paper. Good job. <laughs> paper money. Okay, so how do I explain this?